In a fiery debate on ITV Good Morning Britain, the former UKIP leader claimed the UK was given a choice between independence and remaining part of the European Union with the June 2016 Brexit vote, the prominent Brexiteer dismantled Lord Adonis claims Britons had started changing their minds on Brexit as they realised the UK would be economically worse off outside the Brussels bloc. Mr Farage said, We didn't vote on economics, we voted on do you want to be an independent country a part of a union, we could be a lot better off, Andrew thinks we're going to be worse off, but the point is the vote was about the independence of this country. Die-hard Remainer Lord Adonis attempted to argue back claiming Leave campaigners had promised unrealistic economic returns deriving from stopping to contribute to the European Union. He added Britons had started realising the reality is there will be an even bigger contribution to the Brussels bloc when Britain will finally leave. Lord Adonis said, that's where Nigel and I disagree. Two years ago people thought they would be better off voting to leave, remember the £350 million for the NHS on the side of the bus, now it's £39 billion exit fee for leaving. I think people's opinion will start to change soon. But Mr Farage brilliantly mocked the Ramona in as he laughed at his statement, he ranted, we're leaving, we're leaving. The debate came as a rally of Remainers descended on London to call on the government for a second Brexit referendum on Saturday. The demonstration was dubbed March for a People's Vote, and speakers at the event included Liberal Democrat leader Sir Vince Cable, Tory rebel Anna Sobri, Labour MP David Lammy and Green Party co-leader Caroline Lucas. Anti-Brexit activist Gina Miller spoke at the demonstration saying, it's time we took this back to the streets and the lanes, the towns and the villages and the meadows and the squares of this country. It is time for you to decide, for you to take back control. It is simply dishonest for them in that house to say that they still believe that the will of the people is the same as it was two years ago. Together we must stand up, demand our voice are heard, demand a people's vote so that future generations can hear us say we did our bit. We stood up and for a country that is together, kinder and tolerant. This is not a time to be silent. The London March was being supported by pro-Remain groups, including Open Britain, the successor to the failed Britain Stronger in Europe campaign. The demonstration comes after the landmark EU withdrawal bill passed through Parliament earlier this week, defeating Remainer rebels within the Conservative Party.